we want to find the derivative of f of x equals e raised to the power of hyperbolic cosine four x. The first thing we should recognize is that we have a composite function and therefore to find the derivative, we'll have to apply the chain rule. Next we should recognize that the outer function will be the exponential function and the inner function will be the exponent which is the hyperbolic cosine function. So if we look at our derivative formulas, we'll have to apply this derivative formula here which we can see includes the chain rule where u is equal to the inner function and therefore the derivative with respect to x is equal to a product where the first factor is equal to the derivative of the outer function and the second factor u prime is equal to the derivative of the inner function. So because the hyperbolic cosine function is the inner function, we're going to let u equal hyperbolic cosine four x which means we can think of our function as e to the power of u. But notice how we'll also have to find u prime, the derivative of the inner function, so let's go ahead and do that now. What's a little tricky about this is that notice that u is also a composite function, so we'll have to apply the chain rule in order to find u prime. Where for u, the inner function is four x, and the hyperbolic cosine function is the outer function. So if it's helpful, we can let the inner function four x be equal to v, and then to find u prime, we can think of finding the derivative of hyperbolic cosine v using this formula here. So our derivative would be equal to hyperbolic sine v times v prime, which would be hyperbolic sine four x times the derivative of four x, which would be four. So now we can go ahead and find our derivative using the chain rule f prime of x would be equal to, again, e to the u times u prime, or e to the power of hyperbolic cosine four x times u prime, which we already found using the chain rule, which is four times hyperbolic sine four x. Let's go ahead and rewrite this as f prime of x equals four hyperbolic sine four x times e raised to the power of hyperbolic cosine four x. So this example was a little bit more challenging because we actually had to apply the chain rule twice in order to find our derivative function. And the reason we had to apply it twice is because the original function is actually a composite of three functions. It's a composition of the function four x, the hyperbolic cosine function, and the exponential function with base e. I hope you found this explanation helpful.